Histopathology confirms the diagnosis of stage four undifferentiated malignant colorectal adenocarcinoma with mutations in APC and KRAS. If a doctor told you this, would you ask a question? Or would you feel embarrassed to ask a question? Think of how ridiculous it is not to ask a question. This is your health. This is your life. When my grandmother was diagnosed with colon cancer, I was a junior in chemical engineering, taking advanced mathematics courses at the time. I remember sitting in this long, dark hallway feeling absolutely devastated. How can I solve this problem? I went to my grandmother's oncologist, not speaking doctor speak, but speaking calculus, and he turned all of her medical records over to me. <laughs> I've always had this theory that in engineering we have transformed our society based on the fabric of mathematics. We have sent man to the moon based on equations. Why can't we use mathematics to solve the problem of cancer? This was the beginning of my rabbit hole. During the time that my grandmother was ill, I met my graduate advisor. He was working on understanding cancer signaling pathways with mathematical models. I decided to pursue this topic. It became an obsession, and I can say to this day I've never worked as intensively on anything. January 31st, 2006, my grandmother passed away. It snowed five feet. Cancer research will always be the driver of my career and my life. There's nothing more I wish to do than to chase cancer and use all of the mathematical models I have up my sleeve. I went on to complete my PhD. The average cancer contains 140 defective genes, but the vast majority of the cancer landscape is rolling hills, genes that hide in the shadows. Mathematical models, although powerful, can be limiting because they are based on what we know. Interesting biology occurs around the edges of our knowledge. Algorithms can be used to explore this unknown world. I went on to work at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. There, I used machine learning algorithms to explore data. I then went on to Azi Pharmaceuticals, where I worked in the biomarkers and personalized medicine group. We were responsible for identifying biomarkers and turning them into companion diagnostics. A couple years ago, Illumina announced that it was possible to sequence your entire genome for $1,000. That very same genome a decade ago cost $3 billion. <laughs> From my journey in cancer research, I'm most proud of working with an oncology team to achieve candidate selection. Candidate selection is taking a chemical compound which we know nothing about and developing a significant amount of evidence which leads us to believe it's gonna benefit patients in the clinic. I wanna emphasize that I played a minor role and it takes a team of diverse talents to accomplish such a task. What does a human genome look like? How do we make sense of a human genome? A human genome has inherited instructions for making every protein in the entire body. Let me emphasize that we don't know what this all means. That's why you should support basic research and NIH funding. We are learning answers to these questions at the speed of research. If funding gets slashed and the research stream is a trickle, it hurts us all. Medicine is undergoing a revolution. We can now visit our doctor and get precision targeted medicine based on our human genome. What if we don't know our genetic information? We could be taking a drug and suffering horrible side effects and that drug will never help us. Surgeons cut cancer out with a knife or a blade. Today, our most powerful knife is an algorithm. Our sharpest blade is knowledge gained from our genetic sequence. Clarity is being actively engaged in your health fearless of asking questions. For my grandmother, the question was simple. Should I get a colonoscopy at the age of 50? This was a question she asked but did not follow up with a second opinion. We live in the midst of incredible information. We can now take the center stage of our own health. And we should never feel embarrassed to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs>